Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about how to store ratchet straps. Eventually, at some point or another, everybody is faced with this problem. You use a ratchet strap, you're done with it, you want to put it away. What do you do with it? I find that wear and tear on the ratchet straps just happens way quicker if you dump them in a bin. And it's really frustrating trying to pull out a tangled, messy ratchet strap and try to use it. If you put anything away properly, it'll be there for you when you need it. That includes ratchet straps. So so today we're going to go over two methods of how to wrap up your ratchet straps when you're done with them. One requires a, a band that you would have to buy, and the other one requires nothing at all. It just uses the ratchet strap itself to wrap into itself. They have their pluses and their minuses. I like both ways. I'll show you both today. So let's get going. <laughs> So first, the method of wrapping up a ratchet strap that doesn't require any other tool, just the ratchet strap itself. This method works particularly well with double wire hook ratchet straps, or sometimes they're called J-hook or double J-hook ratchet straps, this kind of ratchet strap. So basically here I have the ratchet mechanism closed and the handle is face down on the table, it's to my left. The fixed part of the ratchet strap is also to my left. The long part of the ratchet strap has been fed up through the windlass. There is 12 to 18 inches of strap between the ratcheting mechanism and the second hook. Basically most of that strap, I think the strap is 15 feet long, most of that strap has been pushed through the windlass and is now out the other side. I walk over to the other end of the ratchet strap where the end that I passed through the windlass is waiting. I fold it over, since it's new, it's already been folded over about three feet in. The company folded it over before sending it. You wanna fold over your ratchet straps before you roll them up so that you don't crimp the end and make it curl and bend. Also that can cause fraying. So I just folded it over where the company folded it over and started my roll. I rolled under and I just kept going all the way up to the ratcheting mechanism itself. Trying my best to keep it square and tight. It doesn't have to be crazy tight and it doesn't have to be laser square, but just generally well wrapped is sort of the standard I use here. Then I lay the roll on top of the ratcheting mechanism and I take the hook that is attached permanently to the ratcheting mechanism and push it into this bundle I'm making. The remaining part of the long piece of webbing that I just rolled up is sticking out to my right side, the camera left side, and there's a hook on the end of that. If I've been very, very lucky or very, very careful, there will be just enough webbing protruding that I can take this hook, wrap it up and over my bundle and just catch the handle of the ratchet strap. If I haven't got it quite right, I just have to make a small adjustment, sort of grab my bundle of uh, webbing, let a little more out or pull a little more in, and then try again. Once you get it right the first time, you can mark your ratchet strap with a Sharpie, and that way you won't have to futz with it the next time you do it. And that's sort of it. You wrap that hook around. If you compress your little bundle of webbing, it'll give it a little bit of give. You can hook it onto the handle of the ratchet mechanism. And then when you let it go, your bundle will expand, creating a little bit of tension, and the whole thing stays wrapped up. You can chuck it, you can drop it, it'll stay there. It's not a bad idea to practice once or twice, especially before you mark it. If it's too loose, obviously it's gonna unfurl and end up in a big mess. If you have to like really reef on it to get that hook to go over the handle, that's also really annoying. And it's gonna be hard to do if your hands are cold, if it's raining. So you wanna sort of try it a couple of times, get the feel for your ratchet strap. They're all kind of different, right? Some of them have hooks, some of them don't. The distance between the attached hook and the ratcheting mechanism is sometimes a little different. Sometimes the shape of the hook is a little different. Sometimes that hole between the handle and the ratcheting mechanism varies in size. So you gotta sort of play around with it and feel what works for your ratchet strap if you're gonna try something like this. But eventually, you know, two, three tries, you'll probably get it just fine. Oh, and here's a tip. If you're having trouble getting it to feel tight, every time you latch the hook onto the handle, it just doesn't feel solid. You're probably just not pushing down hard enough on your bundle. The more you compress the bundle of webbing that you created when you rolled, if that final hook just fits over the top of that, you'll probably end up having a tight package. So that's one method. The second method I like to use uses a band that I purchase at a cargo supply place. These bands aren't necessarily meant to work with ratchet straps per se. They're meant to work with other kinds of straps. You can see on the packaging here, the kind of strap that this is meant to wrap up. But I find that they work really well with ratchet straps. Any kind of ratchet strap, one inch, two inch, whatever. As I mentioned before, ratchet straps technically come in two parts and you could wrap them up separately but I prefer to wrap any ratchet strap together so that when I'm ready to deploy it, it's all there, ready to go. I don't have to re-thread, figure out which side is up, all that kind of stuff. I can just use it. Also, when you're fumbling around trying to grab one out of the bin, you only need to grab one thing. You don't need to grab like the ratcheting mechanism part and then hunt around for the mate for it. So in this case, I'm gonna wrap it all in one piece. And as a matter of fact, since this is a no hook ratchet strap from last week's video, I kind of have to. 
because it is all one piece. But that also makes it sort of a no-brainer for showing you it's gonna wrap up perfect with this band. So I grab it by the ratcheting mechanism and I make sure the ratcheting mechanism is closed and in the locked position. And then I just start wrapping first around the handle and then back towards the windlass channel, which really provides a guide for the webbing as you wrap it around the ratchet strap and you just keep going. Wrap it again. Wrap it again. I'm using the guides from the windlass to help me and I'm pulling a little bit tighter and then I wrap it around again and again and again and again until it's all wound up. Occasionally along the way, I'll give it a little tug just trying to make sure that it's nice and tight because if it's loose and you put the elastic on it, it can skid around a little bit and worry its way into an unfurled position and end up in a mess. You don't want that. So a nice tight package is usually a pretty good idea. As I wrap the very tip of the webbing around the outside of the bundle, I can now hold it in my hands. I grab the elastic. It's pretty heavy duty. It's, it's really more like an ISO elastic that you might find at the gym rather than an elastic band. These elastics are one inch by seven inch, so they hold like a lot of different kinds of ratchet straps. One inch, two inch, it doesn't really matter. Given that they're one inch wide, I've used them with ratchets that are up to three inches wide without any issue. It really is just will the diameter fit over your ratchet strap, and in my experience, the answer is usually yes. Now that thing's really not going anywhere. It's a pretty solid way to wrap your ratchet straps. It's better than tape, which leaves residue on the ratchet strap or sometimes on the ratchet mechanism. It's better than using a Velcro strap, which never holds a ratchet strap properly. In my opinion, these bands hold a ratchet strap together better than any other method I have ever used. Also, since different makers make them in different colors, you can use the colors to sort of color code your ratchet straps if you want, or divide up by departments, whatever you wanna do. Anyway, the downside of this, of course, is you gotta have the elastic when you're done with the ratchet strap. Nothing more frustrating than someone leaves the elastic on the truck <laughs> and then you're out doing the job a hundred feet away and somebody rolls up the ratchet strap and then they're like, hey, where's the elastic? It's on the truck, buddy. Anyway, that can be a bit of a problem, but I do like using these elastics. Standard elastics, like the kind you find on broccoli, they don't do so well under heavy duty applications. They don't really like to get frozen. My, my ratchet straps live in my truck through the dead of winter. So it, I tried using elastic bands, but they just snap. They deteriorate and they just snap. They don't like heat. They can't really handle the harshness of the metal of the ratcheting mechanism. These elastics for cargo ties are way, way stronger. I gotta recommend them. They're way better than using an elastic, no question. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, please feel free to like or subscribe. Hitting the thumbs up or subscribing really helps the channel and I'd really appreciate that. Even if you don't, please feel free to leave a comment. Like I say every week, comments help me make the channel better and that's what I'm after. Oh, and hey, is there something you want to see on this channel that I haven't thought about or touched on yet? If there is, feel free to leave that in the comments or DM me over on Instagram at hashtag ReadySteady. So until next week, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.